finally made it back. Are you excited? That's right. We are excited. coiled up. It's like it knows I'm coming for it. Back to what I was going to say. I've showered. I'm home. <sighs> Happy to be here. But I got my Sephora play thing. Play thing. <laughs> I got it for the month of May. This is what came in it in case you're interested. Victor and Ralph flower bomb. This breaks me out so I'll be passing this along. Um, not if it breaks me out but you know it gives me a rash. I don't know why. Something in it. <sighs> Professional. Jesus Christ, are we ever going to stop getting these? Has anybody ever purchased their own full size of this? Because they always give all the little samples. Um, I got the same Sephora collection mud mask that I did in my last mask and chat. Um, Kat Von D tattoo liner. I don't really like her stuff, but mm, I'll try it again. I think I tried it a while ago. Um, Bumble and Bumble thickening hairspray pre-styler thing. Uh, I'll tr definitely try this out. And then I got the Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter. I never actually bought this whenever it came out, but I mean, now that I have it, I guess I'll try it. But that is like the limited edition that just keeps on giving. Um, and then here's my bathroom setup. It's nothing fancy, but um, measuring tape. <laughs> I got all of this stuff at TJ Maxx. Um, and this little rhinoceros is actually a little, like, air freshener thingy. Um, and then this little rose thing. But let's do a little impromptu haul while we're here. A lot of these Walmart beauty box kits that they sell in the store, I'm not really, like, thrilled with. I feel like a lot of the products, I'm like, I would use maybe half of them. But this one I saw and I was like, okay, I would use every single one of these products. Um, so in here you've got, um, let's see. Dry shampoo, dry shampoo, dry shampoo, dry shampoo, a foam conditioner, and then two hair treatment mask thingies right there. So this is perfect, and this was, I think, 10 bucks. And then I ordered from Sephora. Let me show you the samples first, because really, I only ordered because of the samples. Um, I like to order from Sephora only whenever there's a really good sample um, assortment. So I got the five free sample thingies. <clears throat> the promo code this little Moschino fresh perfume I just wanted it because it's adorable <laughs> and then it came with a Lancer face oil a Grande mascara I'll probably review that and it came with a Stila um, liquid lip that I've been wanting to try this is Bocce and it came with a Pericone cold plasma face cream so I got those for my samples. Then I got a 100 point reward. I've been wanting to try this um, French Grey, I think it is. Yes, from Elizabeth and James. I love the Olsen twins. A lot of people don't like them, but they are my spirit animals. Well, really only Ashley. Mary Kate is a little bit crazy looking, but um, moving on. <laughs> I also got the Dandelion Twinkle, the mini. I've been wanting to try this. I swatched it in the store like whenever it first came out and I was like, ooh, I don't know about that. Um, but then I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm going to try it. Um, and then I got the set of the small size of the face primer and the setting spray from Too Faced the Hangover RX. And then also the small size of the primed and peachy primer and the peach mist setting spray. I want to test both of these out and like intermingle, you know, like mix and match and see if I can find a really good combination for me. Um, cause I feel like they're products that everybody either loves or hates. And I feel like these have a lot more lovers than haters. And this kind of has a lot more haters than lovers. So I want to see just what's good for me. Um, so that's all of those. I think we're gonna go grocery shopping now and um, look at all these dog toys everywhere. 
everywhere. They're everywhere. <laughs> More over there. Oh my gosh. And, of course, the pile of clothes that never seems to go away. But how cute is this little bench, though? We got it on Wayfair, and it is totally like a little couch. Um, it was pricey, though. It was like $3.50, I think, but totally worth it. Because then Lydia can use the steps, and then she can jump from there up onto the bed. Um, so that works out for her. And then this little pillow and blanket I got. Look at all those toys! I got these at, um, what was it, TJ Maxx? But you guys, look at how high this bed is. Like, here's my hip. This is my hip right here, and it's up that high. That is insane. I have to have, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> More toys. I have to have a little stool to step up onto the bed. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of crazy. But my main thing I want to tackle this week is these. These are the things that I store all of my bras and then my panties in. So I want to go to Ikea tomorrow and get a different thing because these are just overflowing. Like there's way too many in each drawer and I can barely see what I have. So um, we're going to get one that has four drawers a piece and hope that that helps because see I can't even put those anywhere. There's just no room. So that's what we're going to do. great <laughs> so I just finished um, filming a couple three videos um, you might see some of them before you're seeing this one anyway so there you go um, pop quiz are we ever gonna get furniture in the living room probably not <laughs> uh, the family room has furniture in it but um this is kind of taking a back seat but um, I used today the um wet and wild palette that is kind of like a dupe for modern renaissance and you know what i don't hate it however i did use champagne pop a little bit much for me a little bit much for me um so there's that i'm gonna probably spend the rest of the night editing and that right there is an Ikea thing that I need to put together and the first one to put together was so insanely <laughs> hard to put together so I've put this one off for a whole week but I really need to get it done I will show you that in a second I need to do um, the closet room you know some organizing in there and stuff so I bought that thing right there to organize my lingerie in um, so I'm excited about that kind of not excited to put it together though um, but yeah, I'm also trying a couple new products on my face today. This is a breakout from Curology, like purging my skin out. Um, is my camera? I think it was a little bit blurry. Um, so there's that. Um, it is Memorial Day weekend right now. And we have nothing planned except chilling. So I'm down for that. Um... Yeah. What do we think of this though? I did a get ready with me, but honestly I focused no attention on telling you how I was doing anything because I was too busy talking about other stuff. Um, you know, but really simple. It was only like three or four shadows. Um, so yeah, I don't know why I just winked at you. <laughs> if you've ever wondered what hell looks like, this is it. This is hell. Look at all those little screws. Oh my gosh. This is going to be so fun. <laughs> There's so many pieces. Doing a little bit of meal prep. We're going to have these for dinner plus meal prep for on the road. These are tuna steaks. And then I have Brussels sprouts in here. And then for meal prep on the road also, I made these chicken pepperoni mozzarella kind of uh, fold over things with a little bit of like marinara I'll put on there so those are looking pretty decent kind of look like chicken calzone so it's almost a year since we moved in and I want to show you the backyard 
kind of like stuff that we've done because I feel like we've focused a lot of our attention on the backyard. Hey girl. Hey Fogo. So first up, um, well actually, you can't really see it, but we did the roof. Um, so we put that on. And then the next big project that we did was the fence. And um, this is a vinyl privacy fence, six feet. Um, well worth the investment for us. And then we want to paint the shed. Where's my finger? There it is. We want to paint the shed to match the deck, which we did like this. You can't tell because it needs to be washed, but this is like um, mahogany, like, and it's, it's actually shiny, but you can't tell until it's been like mopped, you know, cause it's kind of dusty. And then we have the white railings. And then today we actually got this little deck thingy um, to put the bird bath on, kind of cute. This is our side yard and there is my filming room. There's Lydia. Here is the fence. I don't know if you can see, but it goes up pretty high. We have a little butterfly um, thingy here that caterpillars can go in and create a little cocoon. We have some of these mercury lights up, but we need to put the rest of them up. We have a lot more of these and they're solar also, so they'll come on even whenever we're not home. What do you think, Lydia? Fogo? Look at you. We got this at Menards. This is super cute whenever it's lit up at night. It's a little solar flower. And then we got this today, a little four-pronged bird feeder thingy. Um, so yeah, patiently awaiting the birds put it out and they don't even want to come and then we have a solar bird bath also this will like light up at night in the center of it are you really rolling in that grass what stop that don't act like you weren't doing it come on now <gasps> do you see that Lydia stop that and then we have some apples that we feed to the squirrels <laughs> And then we have a bunch of weeds around this that we need to pull out. And then we have these, oh, a bug just got on me. We have these solar lights um, that we spray painted because they were originally black, but we need to affix them to the fence posts. Um, we just haven't got around to it yet. And then there's the back corner and then going all the way up to the front of the house. And then there's the deck, and there's Fogo on it. We want to put like white trellis stuff underneath of there um, to get that finished up. So there's all of the yard. I would say it's looking pretty darn good. Lydia, that's for the squirrels, not for you. You have food inside. This room is a complete mess, but this is my filming room. Um, there's the lights that I use, there's my crappy paint job. Um, I have all of this like storage off to the side, um, where I kind of keep my collection. And then I have my desk over here that is so messy. <laughs> we just got done filming a video for our trucking channel. Um, and then I have this gigantic mess over here. Um, I filmed a clothing haul that is probably already up by the time you're seeing this. Um, and then it has these built-in cabinets. And then over here is where the green screen is. So that's what I see whenever I'm filming. Not very cute. But you guys see this. Or this. Or that. Whatever I choose to put back there. Um, kind of cool, right? This was a gift from my husband. And it's just... <laughs> it's been a game changer. I absolutely love it. And I showed this desk in my makeup essentials drawer video, but this I got at Costco. Freaking amazing. And look at this, um, you know, it has little like USB and plugins here and then it has a drawer. I prefer this to the Ikea Alex drawers. It's just a little bit more chic looking. And here we have the finished product. Uh, I love the way that these look so much better than the others. Not that these others are bad, they were great to start out with, but for a little bit more of like an adult 
you know, you have your crap together look. I like this. And then here we have all of the drawers pulled out. So I'll show you. I have um, whites, creams, yellow. Then we have shades of pink going into red. Then we have purple shades. All those are purple. Then we have all kinds of shades of blue. And then we go into the gray tones here. And then the black tones here. Um, and then here I have all of my unlined bras. Um, and then the top drawer up here I just have panties. Panties everywhere. <laughs> so there's all of those. I am super thrilled with how that turned out. Um, now I need to get the rest of this room cleaned up just a little bit. Look at those two lovebirds. Look at you guys. You gonna pretend you weren't doing that? Also, can we just take a minute? <laughs> this is my Christmas card from my best friend last year. Um, Dolly Parton, yes, please and thank you, Yeri Isthmus. <laughs> and then here's my um, perfumes. I can't remember if I already showed them up close before, but I love collecting these little um, small bottles. My grandpa collects, um, you know, like small bottles of anything he can find, you know, so I feel like I get that from him. Um, but I love having them here, and then if I want to try something new, um, I can decide whether or not I want to buy the full size, because I have so many of the little ones. And then I have my little purse sprays in this. And then here's where I have all of my, like, bigger sized ones. And then this is a lip balm that does not belong there.